Thank you for tuning in. We're here with our special guest. Very Vaz. special guest. What's up, brother? Appreciate y'all for having me. It's yes, Vaz, baby. Yep. We're loaded. How Thank you, you for doing, coming, man? Dude. How was your weekend? Was nice. uh, it was good. I was in L.A. L.A.? Nice. See, this boy just be taking flights. I, just I want to live like Vaz, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm really, you know, I'm really, you know, chill. And he's modest. Yeah, yeah, he's modest. Yeah, he's modest. modest. Very Super modest. cool, man. Super cool. High so, old been, high old we've been good. We're cooling. We're grinding. We're grinding. Just we're grinding. Thanks for asking. I mean, I never had a guest, guest. We never had a guest act. No, I, I mean, I mean kind of feeling the way, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. But anyways, but. We I've, seen, I've seen the podcast, you know, go around. Okay, I okay, appreciate okay. that. Appreciate that. This ain't, this ain't our first encounter actually meeting you. For the people that I don't yeah. know, we actually met him back at a, um, in January at your show that you was, um, you know, promoting for and you set up for Asian Doll. Uh, so I definitely want to thank you for even getting this in that yeah, room. Facts. So you, from that day, you've been a real nigga in my book. So Vaz is a real plugged in individual, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, dope, really, through, dope, really dope, really dope, really dope. So but, speaking about plugged in, can you can you tell us a little bit about your upcoming and, and mm-hmm. um, you know your upbringing? So where are you originally from? So I'm originally from Albania. Albania. I was I was born in Greece, then I moved to Albania. Okay. Then, okay. Like, seven. Seven. And okay. then uh, how was I life came here when I was like 2018? 2019. How was it back in Albania? It was it was pretty good. It was it good. Was, just, you know, was you promoting out there too? What was you What was you doing? So when I was in high school, I was doing events, mm-hmm. like with with my with my school, like you know, just throwing like parties, kids, but nothing like crazy. I just yeah, parties. and then you know, uh, after I graduated, I just you know start throwing like more shows in 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 my city, like in a bigger scale. Mm-hmm. And then I moved here, and you took it up a fucking notch. Yeah, it was really hard. Tells me something tells me his high school parties must, must have been lit. fucking lit. I'm hip. I was thinking that Young I was like, boss, yo, this guy must have been. I don't know. It's just, it's fire. just you know, just Albania, like, like how I remember, you know, mm-hmm. like if if you go back home, there is like no age limits, and you know, mm-hmm. you can just get on drinking. Club, you know, yeah, you can drink. You There's can no age limit. No age. So limit. you could go. Hey, you 16, you go to the liquor store. Yeah, exactly. Like when I was back then, you know, I was 16, 17. Mm. Y'all niggas lit. Yeah. So I know you had bitches running around titties oh, out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, okay, 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 okay. okay, okay, okay. He's trying to make it. Yeah. I, I, I like it. He's like, smart. Yeah. Also, like, Albania is a little not, like, you know, so, like, open-minded. So, yeah. You know, like, they're, like, more, you know. Is it um, more conservative? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, you can't even take that risk. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. cool. So, Damn, bro. so here, definitely, you know, more opportunities. Like, people are more open-minded. So that, that's what, like, drew you to America? Kinda. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's the Opportunities. Opportunities. Did you move that. with your whole family or was it just you? Yeah, we moved with, with my family because I have my, my cousins here. So okay, okay. Mm, okay. Like, did the process for us to come here. Was they already set up here? Yeah. Okay, here. okay, okay. Here that's and Josh, your cousin. Right? I'm your cousin. Yeah, Josh, 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 Josh. Josh. I don't want to watch it. I'm a cousin. <laughs> he just white skinned. I'm his black cousin. He's black. <laughs> we'll get into that. Yeah. Whatever, whatever show I have when you come. See, my cousin. Nice. You heard that? <laughs> yeah, but that's dope. So it always seemed like you were into marketing, mm-hmm. uh, kind of promoting all like that. The party like, that's, type like, shit. that's like a calling kind of for you. Yeah, huh? I would say like, you know, since I was in high school, like when I, would, I was just, you know, going to the clubs, like I, I know that I wanted to do that just mm-hmm. because, and not not even if I'm working, but just being at the clubs, just listening to music. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, seeing people you like the atmosphere you. of it. I like yeah. the atmosphere plus, you know, like I do that as, 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 as my job, but it's like, yeah. I actually like going to the clubs. Well, yeah, yeah, English is very good, by the way. I just for like real, yeah, for someone like, that came in 2019. When you came uh, in 2019, did you already speak English or did you have to develop that over time? Well, I, uh, I used to take some English classes mm-hmm. back home because I know at some point I would come in, in the US. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was in high school, so then when I came here, it was a little... Difficult because I was still a different. Fight, you know, yeah, a lot of language. Yeah, but no, it's you, you picked been, up yeah. after having the dialogue and shit. I'm not gonna hold you. That's why. That's one thing that stands out in your music too. I like. I like the fact that you. You, I know sometimes people lose their accents, but well, they're I trying like, to hide it. Yeah, I like I like the fact that your accent kind of makes still there. you. Yeah, it's still there. Like it adds something mm-hmm. to the music. Mm-hmm. I feel like he does. Like he that. really yeah. likes that because he's playing one of your videos. He's like, "Yo, his accent make it sound wavy." So you talking that shit, and then yeah. you got your accent kicking, and it's still there. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I it's, it. it's authentic. Yeah. It's, it's only been three years. I mean, I hope For I real. don't lose my accent. You know? Yeah, hell yeah! Don't 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 I mean, succumb yeah, to America. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Keep I, just <laughs> like, I just feel like if you're not if you're not born here, it's you know, like, 
You gonna have a Boston accent yeah, though. Gonna you still gonna have a Bostonian accent though. Yeah. You ready to say? Hell no! Don't, do not do not ever have a Bostonian. Those are I'm I'm from I'm from Massachusetts. <laughs> Bostonian accents are probably the worst. Those accents are the worst. Those just are... Picking car is that new? Yeah, it's a Sonata. Let me pack it. Oh, you're not fitting your car in there, Chris. Stop being a smarty pants. Where'd you park the car? You got my <laughs> keys. Yeah. Let's go to the market. I love Boston, but <laughs> man, that just is annoying. Oh, dogs. <laughs> oh, dead dogs. I'm going to just have my Albanian accent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So back home, do they still listen to your music? You still got a lot of fans back home. Where will you say most of your fans lie? Uh, I mean, right now, I'll say most of them are in, in the U.S. What uh, city? Would you uh, say Boston? Yeah, Boston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Boston. I mean, like, you know, Dorchester. Mm. Like nice. Brockton, Lawrence. Lawrence, definitely. Nice. How did you go about, like, because I we, so we speak it on your music, too, like, we see you tapping into the music. How did you go about building your your brand now as, as a rapper? Because, like, you know, you do the promoting, but how did you mm -hmm. find a way to successfully cross over into rap? When I would always be, you know, like, in the studio with, like, different artists, and just, you know, when I bring different artists... And, they uh, bring you to the studio the with them. Uh, you know, they want to show you around. And, stuff. Mm -hmm. and I was yeah. like, why not, you know, try? Yeah, Unless you, you got that, that little goes. influence. And then I wanted to do something different for my first song, and then mm -hmm. I got, like, uh, the Run Stone of Features, and then I got a Jay Wapo, because I wanted my first two songs to do. Like a sure. pop, yeah. I'm glad you got I'm into that. Sure, sure. Keep going, you know. Yeah, keep Until going. I'm like, sure. You know, satisfied with oh, yeah. myself. So. Oh, yeah. You young as fuck. So, yeah, you, you still got young. years left in this rap shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, trust me. So, um, what what kind of artists kind of inspired you to make music though? That's what I me was so Biggie. Was me was Biggie Park. Who wanted you to make? What made you start rapping? Well, when I started rapping for the for the for the one week that I did rap, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna hold you. It was probably Kanye. Kanye, uh, yeah, Kanye. So, like I like the nigga. I liked what he's rapped about, but also like, is mad artistic. Artistic, I like, too. Yeah, I like yeah. that shit. So who who drew I'll you in like that? Just because I, you know, I've been living most of my life in uh, Albania, and I just be listening more to like Albanian rap. Mm -hmm. I'll say Noisy. He's an Albanian rapper. I, that oh, sounds familiar. Y'all have a whole rap out there. Yo, there's rap oh, everywhere. This rap is, is global, bro. Oh, rap this is, is global. Fire. I did not rap know this. Yo, yeah, I'm ignorant. Global. I didn't know. I did not know. You gotta send me something from Albania. I gotta listen to some. Yo, this French rap yeah, too. I so his name, what's his rap name? Noisy. Noisy. Is he like one of the biggest ones out there? Yeah, he's the yeah, he's the biggest one. In okay, area. and how is life out there for a rapper? Like, is he like, like he's he, his shows? What their shows looking like? Cause you you see shows out here for big artists. So are their numbers like good? Yeah, the numbers are are are, are really good. Like you know, Albanians you know love to they support to the clubs, it. You know, party and support. That's fire. I would say though, like over there, it's either you are in the music industry or you're not. You can be an upcoming rapper. I would say you can't be local. No, because like we don't really have like a local scene. Yeah, a local scene. So like, you need like a machine like, behind you. Yeah. So even like it's like even like you make it or no, you know. Like, you gotta yeah. get put you on. Have a big name or you mm. nobody knows. So it's tougher to make it though. Yeah, and like when mm. I came in the US, like the the local scene was something new for me. Mm. Like, I didn't know. You know mm. Every city has their own mm. yeah. rappers mm. and stuff. Yeah. So, like so many rappers. So. Mm -hmm. and one thing I will say is um, you probably don't even remember me and me. I first had sent you a song because I see you did this list of top 50 hottest tracks in New England, right? I remember you doing this a couple years back. Maybe you don't remember. You made like top 50 songs that are hottest in Massachusetts at the time. And I remember I sent you some. You have people sending you songs and you review them and you put them on the list. First of all, shout out to this nigga because I, I came straight out of retirement and he made my song on the list. I was 50? I was 49 or 50. I don't give a fuck. But I made the list. So <laughs> shout out to you. Shout out to you, boss. I appreciate you. So... Listening to all this music, how do you like like how do you break down like okay this person is nice I want to work with them or this person is nice I want to work with them when you listen to somebody what what tra draws you to them is it their flow is it their substance what really is it I mean I would say shout out to that list because that that's like basically because uh, you said the top fifty right you were real when you put me on there too thank you I know the song was hot though. it's not it's just like because a lot of people think that you know I run. <clears throat> Every I don't know mm -hmm. blog page in mass, which is not true, mm -hmm. just because you know I you just put your name on it. Stuff, yeah. yeah, but like for that list, you know, it's a couple of, you know DJs and like. Oh, so they knew pages, my shit was so, hot. Okay, you know. Okay. Shout out to all well, of them. Well, let me tell them then, since you didn't do it. <laughs> no, I say I, I say I say, say should have yo that track say should have been top thirty, nigga, top twenty. It was nah, my I best, just, but it did not stop. Thank you for putting me on. Nah, I, I, like <laughs> I definitely sent your song, but I don't wanna real one you know, like. Say that that was just you know yeah. by me. It wasn't just your opinion. Yeah. I appreciate so, it though for you so being on the committee. list. But when it comes, so you said the local mm -hmm. music. Yeah, uh, the local scene. I mean, I, I usually just you know 
like something that is like you know like bounce your trap a bounce track yeah that's what the music that's I what you're into to. yeah uh, like even in the clubs like and you know like even like some that, that are like straight rap like mm-hmm. that's cool but yeah. i just feel like i need some kind of like you know like so beat. Body, it like, can't yeah. be some slow yeah. shit like you know like, having you know straight bars is cool you know so like, you're not gonna be the type to be listening to logic or like some post malone you probably think that oh, you I listen to you know like some viral songs that okay. post malone can have post malone's hard i'm not gonna say okay okay he's yeah. not only a rapper neither we had this conversation but i can get you to talk about yeah. he's like an artist yeah he's an artist okay just i'll give that like <clears throat> songs that are like you know like straight bars and i mm. just like the same flow just mm-hmm. so you're kind of boring. the bars you're a fan of the bars okay i am but it's like it, like mostly i'm a fan of club Bl- music yeah yeah shit that's gonna hard. get the club popping but that makes sense doing this, what he does this one track by you that I like um it's liddy that joint's hard yeah, like liddy i can hear good. that in a um in a uh in the club like yeah, it's shout, liddy. Out, shout out to Mori. yeah Pisco. that joint's fire New York. wait yeah. hold on so you making these tracks you ain't never tried to get your own shit played in the club because if i'm a promoter yeah, that's all i was, oh, yeah, I was I thinking do, do. oh okay, i'm right, like right. yo you better play my shit three four times I don't give a fuck. <laughs> i'll shut this whole shit down like <laughs> when i said about you know the artists going to the studio that was one reason but like i said the mostly like the main reason why i'm doing music is just because i want to have you know played in the clubs and mm-hmm. i want to have you know more people to know what i do as, as far as shows but i definitely have you know the djs because i know you know like a lot of djs so they can have my shows mm-hmm. my songs played in the club so mm-hmm. so what do you what do you what do you want out of it as far as the music do you want to be known like are you looking for a deal or would you rather just you just trying to get on with like is it you just trying to get a bag or are you are you more on the promoting side you want to stay on the promoter side what's, I mean, what's the bag is definitely definitely good you know but it's like i'm mostly doing it to get like more traction for my shows mm. true but you know whatever you know if it comes you know uh, oh yeah good deal you know take that blessing because i'm Why thinking not? like like would you would you like so say say if you like you know blow up off of one of these track tracks with ron suno <laughs> or another big artist you collab with would you strictly go with that that field of just being an artist or would you because you can't you can't you blow up as an artist you can't be a full promoter no more yeah i know i mean uh like as i said you know if i really have you know the strong support behind me mm-hmm. or like you know it's like a label or something that is really gonna push me. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm, I'll stop doing shows. I feel like I'm just doing music to get more traction. But you never know. You That's know, smart. If if, smart. Uh, if a song like really you know blows up and mm-hmm. it goes crazy, you never know what's gonna be a, uh, a I, break. I I feel like you can't really take a break from promotion because you can do a show whenever. Like, That's a fact. Oh, I'm gonna stop now and like like even if music doesn't work out, then I can mm-hmm. I can still do a show. You know. Mm-hmm. But I definitely want to keep going with the shows because I don't want to lose my. The attraction that you already of course up. That's yeah, smart. yeah that's, that's smart. your that's your yeah. focal point it's calm yeah, right now. My, yeah, yeah, yeah my yeah, main yeah. focus the shows that's what's up so there's one thing about people that there's a there's a saying right i don't know if you know about this um the saying is called gatekeeping mm. people like to gatekeep like people say yo you can't do this like oh i i heard about this artist first or mm-hmm. no oh no you can't do this because you're because you're so and so what do you think about the gatekeeping in hip-hop like people like might might say people might say yo if you're not black you can't rap yeah. exactly was, what the you know fuck I mean? do you think about like this shit? Yeah, i want to think about that vibes uh, I, don't, I don't think anything it's just I, like if i i, I don't really th- think i've seen like so many people say that it's just yeah just say you know like oh he's a promoter like mm-hmm. why is he doing music that's but true i haven't really seen like too many people say oh like he's white but i he's, definitely i definitely feel it's, it's a thing he, though he, he's that, modest definitely a thing, he's modest. modest i like this guy no I, I, I definitely i definitely you know feel sometimes you know like, sometimes you feel like they just put like, behind oh, you you know you can be white doing the whole the whole thing i knew about hip-hop like i love hip-hop I y'all love knows hip-hop. all right it's majority black and all that but there's one thing about hip-hop it's about community and creative and, and, and inclusion yeah it's all about inclusion and having different cultures exactly like that's what like i remember i remember there was this show on netflix um i forgot what's called but it was about this this kid in the bronx how hip-hop was born i remember Nas. how actually, it was created yeah how mm-hmm. it was created i forgot i think Nas was one of the one of the narrators yeah narrators and um they talked about how like people were like it would be a whole bunch of different hip-hop was created from three forms it was the it was the break dancing it was mm-hmm. the DJing, and then it was the MC. MC, yeah. The different communities. None of those mean color. Yeah. Even though black people, this is our, you know, this is what we started. That doesn't mean that you can't come into this lane and and also bring bring something to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The same thing with uh, rock. We got black rock stars. Yeah. We have black rock stars all the time back in I, the '70s, and they didn't get their credit, but 
you can still add value to something. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I just always feel like like it's like that, right? So imagine Lil Nas, right? Remember Lil Nas? He tried to mm-hmm. go into country. People and were they, like, they oh, no, you can't go to country. Classify this country. Yeah. yeah that song's Same still thing. number one, though. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's still number one. That's what I'm well, getting at. Well, so like, I think for me, it's just, you know, like, because I come, you know, from another country. So I would yeah. say, and you know, just, just to be honest, you know, like, mm-hmm. if you go in Albania, you'll see... No, like black people. Mm-hmm. So, exactly. Me I think being there, I only, I only seen, you know, like white rappers mm-hmm. because everybody's white. Already, everybody's you know? the same over the year. So Facts. it's like, for me, I mean, that's how I grew up, you know, listening. Mm-hmm. I mean, I always listen to English music too, mm-hmm. you know, but over there, everybody's like, yeah. white. And like, even here, I'm bringing, you know, my, my sound. So I don't feel like I'm imitating somebody that is mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black. I don't hear anyone. But that's why yeah, I respect still. it. It's because it's like you still being true to yourself. Yeah, you know, that's what I said. Like, I like fully accent, convert. Like that and shit. we've met rappers that sound just like other rappers. It's like you're keeping it 100% authentic to who you keep are. It to you. Yeah, keep it. Keep. It, I think guys. that's what it is. I think like just making music, that's that's the art. That's the artist expressing itself, themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing. I know you guys like to say, oh, I love Kanye. I love Kanye. Even though this crazy shit that he does, I do think that's from his his art. Like mm-hmm. he makes that from his art. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, so that's, that's uh, him. You know, so. that's him. Yeah. So, but I, I, before we get off this, I want to say I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, bro. I've been doing a lot of homework, watching a lot of interviews. I will say this: for you being how old? 22. For you being 22 years old, hold your composure the way you do. And I've seen an interview. You just getting attacked. Like full on attacked, but you kept your composure and you pulled up Dolo and he pulled up to this show Dolo. I got nothing but respect for you, bro. At the end of the day, somebody tells you you can't do something, don't even listen to that shit. And I don't even got to tell you that because I could tell off your demeanor. Niggas was trying everything in their power to throw you down and you still had that swag. Like, man, I ain't listening to none of that. Because yeah, at the end of the day, there's something called constructive criticism and there's something called hating. And I want you to know that was straight fucking hating. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, real hate, man, that's like an art form, man. You know, it's like, you, you like a born a hater, you know, like myself, man. You know, a lot of cats think they hate, but man, I mean, I'm mad, you know, I'm mad at everything, man. You know, brother got a nice car, man. Why you got a car, man? I only got one car. Why you got Why you got three cars or a wife or all that, man? I mean, that's played out. <laughs> you held your composure and you did what you needed to do. And and you could ask uh, E, our videographer, I said from that day on, I said, I got nothing but respect for this man. Yeah, uh, appreciate So you much yeah, respect, just, bro. Nah, like, as you say, you know, if it's just, you know, criticism, mm-hmm. then, I mean, you know, it is yeah. what it is. But if it's just, you know, more than If you're just like, hating, I and you're not, you not damaging the culture, bro. You're not damaging the culture, and nobody that isn't even in the fucking industry could tell you that you can't do something. You know what I'm saying? No one could. Yeah. First of all, no one could tell you not to do anything. None of you like, niggas did more. Views, even if you're dude. in the industry. Yes. And it's I, not, and I retired. It's not even about, you know, views or anything. Yeah. It's just, you know, like... I, I can work with like, you know, all those artists, but I mean, I don't like any, like, I don't like everybody's music. You know? Exactly. Like, just like everybody doesn't have to like my Like music. your music, but it's a diff, it's a way of respecting. You don't have to disrespect somebody's art just because you don't like it. If I don't, if I'm, if I personally don't like your music, I could just say, you know, it's not my, it's just, not my cup of tea. If I'm not, I'm not saying this is me, but I'm saying if I don't say, if you don't like my music, you could say, you don't like my, my music ain't your cup of tea, but you know, keep going, keep doing what you're doing. You don't got to be like. You're ruining the fucking culture. Yeah. And da, da, da. Only way you're ruining the culture is when you shitting on other people in the doing the culture. You get what I'm saying? If yeah, you I'm adding not, your not. own flavor, which you are, that should be saluted. It should never be polluted. And that means shitted on. You fucking hating ass motherfuckers. So we're going to give a cheers to you. This goes to, you to all, all the haters. That goes to all the haters, bro. All right, cheers to you that. Heard? Cheers to that. Cheers For real. To fully loaded. Mm-hmm. Sir. All right. So Yeah, yeah and I'll, I'll just say, you know, if it's just... Giving you an opinion, that's cool, but you know, you, I can I can go on my platform and be like, "Oh, fully loaded is trash!" Like mm-hmm. every week, exactly. <laughs> like I'm provoked. And like who, like nobody asked me like what I think about fully. Loaded. You're gonna make yeah. more people fuck with us. Yeah, it's like that's, know, that kind of can work exactly. backwards. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like. Yeah, but you you handled yourself really well. I thought you had a PR rep in the room. <laughs> I thought you had somebody over there like, yeah, I don't like this. Cause ice boots, nigga. I'd have been like, what the fuck are y'all? What the fuck y'all do? I got more views on one video than all y'all. That's what you could have said, <laughs> but you still was humble. And and, 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 Facts, and I yeah. commend you on that for real, for real. Definitely commend you on that. But you gonna you, know, you got to also know in this industry, it's gonna keep getting like that. You are gonna have fans. You are gonna have hecklers. Yeah. But you clearly know how to handle yourself. So that's exactly. dope. No, I appreciate you guys. That's yeah, dope for sure. You know, mm-hmm. I just don't want to feel like, you know, if somebody, you know, like keep shitting on you, it's like, because mm-hmm. I'd be having, you know, a lot of people tell me like, oh, why I don't respond to this? Mm-hmm. Don't respond. Don't give them energy. 
And then if, but if it's just like, you know, repeatedly, it's just like, it's like, damn, like, you know. He got fans too. His fan, know, your like, fans yeah. is in the comments holding you down too. You don't even have to they're say just, nothing. They're just my supporters. Well, good. Yeah, That's supporters, good. Yeah. That's good. Let your supporters do the talking. You keep yeah. creating. End of the day. That's a fact. Because if somebody don't like your shit, why the fuck you, you scheduling an you can't interview? You can be mad at people that's try, just trying to create. Exactly. Why are you scheduling an interview? You no, don't like them. That, why are you scheduling an interview? Every every man <laughs> has the God. Every man and woman has the God given right to create. Except for like, my, except for a couple of my exes. Y'all some lazy bitches. Get the fuck out the house and do yo, something. Yo, John took a personal. You know, Mel's is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> John took a personal. They don't create but shit I, but problems. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but yeah, nah, but yeah, it's cool. It's just you know. nothing. Yeah, but you, you handle can, yourself. You can do well. certain stuff or like quick and stuff. But you can, I don't know. I get just it. Just don't, just don't cross the line. Yeah, exactly. You heard I that? I know. He's, you know the cloud. Cross you know, the, the line. And stuff is cool. Because he had to slap y'all niggas, and if he don't, we will. You heard? That's his cousin. I'm his cousin. <laughs> I'm he's chilling. one of us I, now. I have, I have <laughs> problems with nobody. You know, nah, nah, facts. Me, me neither, bro. Trust me, you yeah. ain't never gonna have no problems no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we wanted to touch on that. Yeah, but um, let's talk about this relationship you got with Ron Suno. How this, be- how this become? Fi- mind you, he's fucking hilarious. By the way, he's fucking crazy. Yeah. How'd you get in contact yeah. with him? And, and like over the years, how's y'all relationship built? Uh, since 2020, mm. I think when I was like starting the pandemic. Like, yeah, when I was just you know thinking about doing music, mm-hmm. I was you know recording and stuff, and then. I had my first show with him in November mm-hmm. of 2020 during the pandemic. I had that in New Hampshire because everything was close in mass. And uh, shout out New Hampshire. <laughs> yeah, shout out New Hampshire. They don't have cool shit. <laughs> and from there, uh, I mean, when I was doing the show, I was like, oh, I want to I wanna feature for my songs, you know? So mm-hmm. I was like, let me just, you know, get a deal for a show and a feature, you know? Mm-hmm. And it was a, it was pretty good. We shot the video that night when we did the show. Mm-hmm. Was he Everybody genuine? Was like, yeah, the yeah. vibe was genuine. Yeah, he was genuine, and I, 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 now I can I can say that because of the relationship we had. Like we've made like, like y'all know each other a now. A lot of times, and like like yeah. we have you know like numbers and stuff. So now I can say that he was definitely genuine, not just because of the looking the at money the money. He's not just looking at the bag. Yeah, he's really cool. Shout out to them. And also, um, yeah, I, I think he's hilarious as fuck. Do you feel like um, most people that you do business with, in as far as a promoter, are they genuine? And do you feel like, or do you feel like most of it's just business? And you know how to keep that line. Keep it on hundred. I feel keep like it most of it is just business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And not only from my side, but uh, even for some of the artists, I just feel like you know they just wanna benefit from like you know mm-hmm. get like a show or something. But you understand that? Yeah, I understand that. I already know who is like really real and like. Mm-hmm. Who's Comes to that when it's you know, party vibes. So percentage, like percentage wise, what will be the percent of real motherfuckers in the industry? You ain't gotta say no names. I'm giving you a percentage so you don't fuck up. No, what will be the percentage? I, gotta, I, nah. I was gonna say some names, but I'm not, I'm not gonna. Don't say. say it. <laughs> you know, let's it. Be, it be the motherfucker. Oh my god. <laughs> You don't got to, though, boss. I ain't going to fuck up your bag. We ain't going to fuck up your bag. I'm not going to say no names, but it just, like, sometimes I just be, 40, you know, 60. home seeing, like, the, some, like, negative comments. And I'm like, I'm like, you was on my DMs three days ago. How, Ooh, how are you on the comments? Talk your shit, boss. Well, niggas not, be in the comments say. sucking dick. But a person, they be, ah, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm in person, because, like, you know, like, sometimes, but it just, it's just not me, you know, to go after, to like, blast everybody them. and be like, oh, you know, like, you mm-hmm. see our DMs, like, mm-hmm. he was... Asking for favors and stuff. Mm-hmm. And now, whenever you see a negative post about mm-hmm. me, you are the first to comment. Oh, hell but yeah. That's how it be. That's it how just, it be. It's just not me, but yeah. Uh, That's exactly how it be. I'll say, I mean, I'll, I'll consider close people to me, like maybe like 10%, 20%. 10%. <laughs> so this one out of 10. Who, uh, retired. One out of 10 people you meet in the industry is going to be real. Who they are. Yeah. yeah. But I, I fuck with the fact that he keeps it business and you know how to, you know, it's the yeah, business. I, I, conduct. I, like, I'm not, I'm not mad at anybody because I keep it business too, you know, mm. like, I don't want to. But still, you want to meet somebody genuine sometimes. Like, yeah, it's good yeah to of course. Do Just, you know, especially genuine. when it comes to the artists, like, a lot of them have, you know, what they have with each other, so... Sometimes I just keep myself out of it. Mm-hmm. I respect everybody. I just work mm-hmm. with everybody. I feel that. I don't keep sides. What's, what is something that, that Voss is, is planning to do in 2022? You don't got to tell us the details because I know I don't really like to speak shit until it manifests. But what is what is something we can look forward to coming from you and move in the near future? This year, I just want to focus. Well, I have a couple songs. I really. A couple songs you already recorded? 
Yeah, there are some features. Okay. I want to drop them. Okay. Like really this is going to be on all platforms, videos too, or just... Yeah, video? yeah, videos and everything, but I'm okay. mostly going to be focused on shows. Okay. I want to nice, have nice. like a crazy line for the summer. I create oh, big yeah. shows. Fully loaded. loaded in there. Fully loaded. We in there. Hey. <laughs> you just got to let me know, you know? Bet, I'll be like, bet, that's my bet. cousin. <laughs> Move the fuck out the way. I don't know if you noticed, when we went to the China, the... I said China Asian doll, doll. Asian doll. I'm sorry, so many dolls. When we went to the Asian doll. What's up, Asian doll? You cute. I'm sorry if I gave you attitude that day. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the Asian doll show. That's what I said. Because my man's in them was still outside. I said, What y'all doing outside? I walk right in. I said, Vast is my cousin. Move. <laughs> Yo, your name moves weights, nigga. I didn't even meet you at the time. Then motherfuckers move out the way. I said, Vast is my cousin. Move. <laughs> <laughs> I could just put you. But I'm pretty sure I had you on the list, though. The had the yeah, yeah, real one. Real one. They probably didn't look at the list, though, because they were dead ass trying to keep us out. I said, yeah, facts. I was like, Yo, move. let us in. We know Vaz. Move. And Jock came. So you can just say that. Hell yeah. <laughs> So, so you you got some feature, you got some big songs with some features on there coming to the people soon, and then you got uh, a couple shows showcases that you can put on for the summer. Cause I definitely need some to do this summer, so that's good to know. Um, yeah, I'm definitely trying to have uh, like big shows in the summer. Word. So, so Vaz, I have a question for you. So, would you ever consider making like a a project album, something like that? Like put all your tracks all together, or something. Probably make a cohesive. Yeah, pull out an album. Would yeah, you I put think it I should. Uh, I'm gonna do an album like maybe Ooh. 2023. Ooh. Okay. Not this year though, because I want my album to have. It's gonna have some singles like just me, but I you gotta have, have some like, like really like big features. Like yeah, yeah, for sure. My only yeah. advice is make sure you got a lot of tracks with you too. You know what I mean? Because the people, your fan base is gonna yeah. want to know who they you. Wanna, are. They wanna they want to connect to you. Yeah, that's true. But that's I, yeah, I definitely like my first album. I want to have like more exposure. You know, like. Mm -hmm. So like, would you call that like, mixtape? You probably yeah. call that mixtape. So depends. Like right now, I have maybe like four songs that yeah. are gonna be on the so like EP. EP. Hey, yeah. if you want a Mel's feature, I got you for free. Don't worry about it, nigga. I'll get nice in the booth. Mel's gonna get I back in the hook, booth. Yeah. Right? I'll, be, I'll be honored because you was on the list. Ah, <laughs> I was 50, but I was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's funny as shit. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. So thank you, Vaz. Thank you for coming yes, through. Yes, sir. This is real. Thank really you, boys, for having me. Real you treat. Know, keep I mean. going, you know, just, you know, keep dropping episodes. Appreciate oh, yeah. that. Hell yeah. Going. Tell, yeah them they we, can, tell them where they can find yeah. you. Name drop, everything. Follow me on Instagram, yes, YouTube. Sir. We yes. gotta have it here. J A N. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. We're gonna have it somewhere. Blue check! Blue check! Blue yep. check! Straight up. Yeah, this is a plugged in guy. If you need, I mean, hit him up for a, a feature, for shows, for shows, shows all that. Right. Yes, sir. All right. Hide him, hide your bitch. Hide your bitch, cause Cuzzo gonna get her. <laughs> well, thanks, cousins. Thank you, Voss, for coming through. Let's cheers to this fully loaded. For real. We here. Yeah, you, we out here. Cheers. Thank you, Voss. Thank you, Voss.